So when measuring the absorption of rhodamine, we first measured the, a reference sample. In this case, it was isopropanol, the solvent we are using. And we get the reference spectrum, which is the, the spectrum of the white light plus reflections or minus reflections from the cuvette. So you get a curve, a reference, where there is no sample, only isopropanol. And the spectrum looks like this. So here is the number of counts. On the x-axis is lambda, and you get a spectrum of the white light. Then we remove the reference, replace it by the dice solution, and then we get a dip in the spectrum. Now we have here counts, and on the x-axis lambda, and you get a dip in the spectrum. And the signal, we divide the signal or the, let's call this I out with the sample. So we divided the signal by the reference. And this is called the transmittance of the sample. Or if we call this I naught, this will be T. T is equal to I out divided by I naught, which is exactly the expression there. So it's the inverse of the expression. With that, we can calculate alpha. And alpha is a function of the wavelength. So you, you need to do this operation for each wavelength. So this is 1 divided by L, Ln, 1 over T. And T depends on lambda. We also have the, the optical filters. There is a long pass filter, so these yellow and red filters are semiconductor doped glasses. And they are long pass. That means a long pass filter, as the name says, passes long wavelengths. So if this is a transmittance and this is lambda, you block this area. The transmittance is zero, and after a wavelength that we call it cutoff, light is transmitted by this filter. So let me remove the rhodamine sample, and I can place, for example, this orange reddish filter. And if I block there, when I look at the laptop, I can see transmittance only after 570 nanometers. So this is the cutoff of this filter. The, the yellow filter has a smaller cutoff. So if I block here, I can see that I transmit light after 510 nanometers. The other filter we measured, it's called the salt short pass. which is the inverse of the long pass filter in that it transmits only shorter wavelengths. So the transmittance is zero, and after the cutoff, light is transmitted. So these filters are widely used in fluorescence spectroscopy. So this is a short pass filter with a cutoff of 550 nanometers, 
So I can block here and I can see that light is being blocked in this region from 50-50 onwards. This is orange 